Hello, so my name is Charlie Anderson, and I'm standing here in Fowler, California with one of our boroughs. And just want to give people an idea for how you'd actually set one of these up uh, to support multiple rows rather than just a single row. So if you imagine there's a pack table right here, or maybe one or two pack tables here, um, and you want to set up the robot to support not people in just one row, but rather multiple rows. So I go to the robot, set up a new route. Uh, you'll hear a pinging sound. It's, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's detected me. I'm just going to teach it from that pack table station to the first row where the robot should go. And once I get to this point, I need to tell the robot, hey, this is a row, go down it. And so this is now its first route. So this is now row one, and it's going to come back to that point, so it should come right back to us. And then next, once it comes back, I'm going to teach it to a second row that it can go down. So can they get, therefore, support multiple people? Um, so it's going to come right back to us. And so there it's learned this, it's learned this, uh, this path from pack table to row one, and now I'm going to teach it from pack table or line of pack tables to row two. And so to do that, I go new. And so now I'm teaching in the second row. So now the robot has been taught to two respective rows. It's going to come back to the same point. Um, and so you should just see it running down the rows autonomously. Uh, and if you had a crew of three or four people in each respective row and a line of packing tables here, that would be all you would need to do to set these things up. Um, so we'll just wait here for a little bit and you'll see it run down the, the, the two rows running the routes we just trained it to do. 